Okay, now we've got our boat here, or our canoe, and what I want to do is I want to start off in a canoe. Uh, most canoes are almost kind of a flesh color. Not, excuse me, not a flesh color, but a clear color. But they have different, most canoes are kind of a brownish color and things like that. And what I want to do, I just want to hit it with a little, little yellow or gold at first. Like this. And then I'm going to come back with a brown. Sort of a, so like a little yellow, a little gold, something like that. In other words, just just a yellow, basically. But you hit it lightly with it. Not a real heavy. Use your, always use your water to dip into it. That way, it doesn't uh, leave a um, real strong. Uh, but more of a wash on it because you want to see the wood. That's the, you, you know, you're not going to spend that much time carving something and then you can't see that it's made out of wood. It's, you just don't want to do that. I, I know when I first began carving, that was one of my biggest mistakes is that I covered my, uh, I almost made my pieces look like they were plastic. And uh, because I had so much paint on them that um, you really couldn't tell if they were wood or plastic or whatever. So I, I messed up big time. Uh, and it wasn't messed up big time. It's just the fact that I, uh, I just had to learn like everybody else did. You know, I, I, didn't, I wasn't born knowing this. <laughs> Maybe you, some of you think that, but I'm not. And I've still got so much to learn from so many people with their ideas and their ways and their means. Okay, there we go, just sort of a, now, I'm going to set that aside, and, uh, well, no, it's drying so quick, I probably can go ahead and go over it with a little brown. Alright, I've got a little bit of brown here. Now with the brown, since it's such a dominating color, you want to uh, you want to kind of do this. You want to when when you hit it, you want to uh, you also want to wash it. In other words, where it just it doesn't dominate, but see, just sort of sort of browns and takes care of the the uh, canoe itself. Take my. I, I didn't glue my ore. I mean, I meant uh, I take my ore out of there, so I can get the, the painting, and then I, then I'll glue it to the. Um, I meant to say I'm going to glue it. Most canoes are sort of a light brownish color. I don't know, some of them, they're, they're real yellow in there. They're, they're, a lot of these places you go, they got them really fixed up fancy and all that other stuff. But this kind of guy, he's a kind of a woodsman. I don't think he would have a such a fancy, uh, colorful canoe. I think he would have more of a, of a woodsman's type canoe. Something that he... Uh,
So if you get a little bit too much brown, as I just did, you just take your water and you just sort of lighten it out before it dries. There we go. There we are. See that? Okay, let me take the ore. Let me hit it with uh see you don't want it too dark, you just want it because the canoes, like I said, they're not um they're not too dark way and it's going to fit in there like that in other words so okay now these two pieces right now are ready almost ready to be antiqued okay the hiker and the canoe now there's one other thing that we need to do, and I'm going to set this canoe aside. I am going to let it dry, and let me move uh, a lot of my paints because there's one more thing that we need to do. What we're going to do is we are going to make a pipe for the little hiker. Okay, that fits in his mouth. Let me kind of move my all this out of the way. I'm going to show you how to make the pipe, and then we're going to paint it. It's not 